Hello everyone, it's Lurgs here, welcome to my channel and today the Volkswagen Passat Dashboard Warning Lights Overview but before we get started, let's have a lovely cup of tea Oh, So this is the Volkswagen Passat here, so I'm just going to climb inside close the door and there are the dashboard lights in front of me so let's get cracking with a quick overview of all the major lights that you're likely to see so this one is the engine coolant temperature if this red light comes on or the gauge gets anywhere near the red then pull over immediately do not drive any further and obviously you need to check that your coolant level is okay but don't do it while the engine is hot because you will get a face full of steam the EPC warning light. Now this is also known as the electronic power control warning light. Now this is normally indicating a problem with your throttle system or the traction control, the wheels are slipping, maybe you're driving on gravel, giving it too much throttle. Now that should just pop on if you have a problem. If it stays on, then get that checked out at your local garage. The glow plug warning light. Now this you only get obviously on diesel engines. This should light up when it's cold when you put the ignition on to get the glow plugs glowing up nice and hot. If this stays on you've got a problem with one of your glow plugs so get that checked out at the local garage. The battery warning light. Now this probably will indicate a problem with charging your battery. So this could be the alternator belt or a problem with your alternator. This is the diesel particulate filter. Now you only get this on diesel engines and this could indicate a problem with your filter system. You can carry on driving but try and keep the revs lower than 2,500 RPM and obviously get that checked out. This is the engine oil level. So make sure that the engine oil level is between the min and the max on your engine dipstick. Now the next one here is the red version. If this is red, stop the car immediately. This means you've got a problem with your engine oil pressure. So you've got problems. Do not drive on. This indicates that you've got a problem with one of your bulbs. Check out all the bulbs all around the car. One of them is probably faulty. The rear fog lights are on. And this means that you've got your main headlight beams on. The main beams are on. The power steering system is faulty. If this is yellow or red, then you've got a fault with your power steering system. Get this checked out immediately if you can drive to an authorised repairer. Now this is a problem with the engine management system, so probably engine emission control, anything like that, so get that checked out. This is the central multifunction display. Within here you can get into the car's system settings. If this flashes or remains permanently on, it means you've got a fault with your airbag system or possibly your seatbelt system. If you have sensors on your brake pads, this will light up when your brake pads are getting low. So you need to get your brake pads replaced. This is the ABS light, the anti-lock braking system. If this just flashes when you're braking hard, it means the anti-lock braking system is coming into effect. If you're braking very hard on a loose surface such as gravel or ice. Now, if this remains permanently on, you've probably got a problem with one of your ABS wheel speed sensors. There's a link above now about how to replace one of those. So this is the ESP, the Electronic Stability Program. If this just briefly flashes on, it means the computer has taken control and it's stopped the wheels spinning. And if you're driving on ice or gravel or anything like that, this could just flash to say that the wheels have lost a bit of traction. Now if this stays on, this means you've got a problem. And actually you can switch this off. There's normally a button on the dashboard if you want to overrule the system. Now this normally means that you've got the handbrake on. So if you're driving along and this is lit and you're not going very fast, it's because you've got the handbrake on. If not, it could be the brake fluid level. So also check that out. This means somebody in the front, either the driver or the passenger has not got their seatbelt on. So put your seatbelt on, be safe. This is the tyre pressure monitoring system. So if you go and check out all of your tyres, you'll probably find that one is underinflated. Make sure that they're all pumped up to the correct pressures and then you may need to reset that tyre pressure monitoring system on the dashboard. And there's a link above now about how to do that. 
And this is obviously the fuel gauge. Now, if you've got a diesel or a petrol, I advise don't let it get into the red because then it will start picking up lots of dirt and sludge from the bottom of the fuel tank and then you'll start getting problems. Really, ideally, when it gets to about a quarter of a tank, just go and fill it up. So that was just an overview of all the main dashboard lights, all the most important ones. If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here. I really do appreciate you visiting my channel, guys and girls. If you'd like to select any other videos around here, that would be really cool. And be sure to hit that bell notification tab.